viewers have been less than impressed with the recent revival of iconic show The Generation Game. But according to reports on Monday, that hasn't put off bosses who are reportedly keen to relaunch another 90s classic Noel's House Party. Noel Edmonds has told Mail in Line that the rumors are not true though, quipping that the parish council for Crinkley Bottom, the fictional town where his show was set, has rejected my plans for an entertainment license. According to The Sun, Noel was involved in pitching a comeback for the series which was taken off air in 1999 thanks to falling ratings. In its heyday ratings peaked at 15 million viewers after the show launched in 1991, but dropped to 8 million by the time of its axing. A source told Dan Wooten that Noel is open to the show being modernized, but the basic format worked, what why it's so fondly remembered. When contacted by Mail and Line though, Noel, who hosted Deal or No Deal up until 2016, told us that that regrettably no the rumors aren't true, quipping, today Crinkley Bottom Parish Council rejected my application for an entertainment license and instead confirmed their demolition order on the great house which I have to leave immediately to make way for a fracking operation and a new little. Noel's hit show featured such iconic segments at the Gunge Tank, the Gotchas, Grab A Grand, and Wait Till I Get You Home as well as sidekick Mr. Blobby. While the BBC don't look set to revive House Party, it may be a shrewd move as they've suffered a huge flop with their Generation Game reboot. Fronted by new show hosts Mel Giedrich and Sue Perkins, the relaunch has lost a mammoth too. Two meters viewers in a week after the show was slammed by critics and fans alike. The second episode of the game show, which was previously hosted by the late Sir Bruce Forsyth, pulled in a peak of three. 9 meters viewers, a mammoth drop from the 6.1 meters who tuned in for the show's debut episode a week earlier 